So I was part of the Accessibilities National ERG Employee Research Group, which aims to support and empower people with physical disabilities, but also with mental health disabilities. And the biggest initiative I initiated, let's say, as part of this group is a peer support group. Uh, a bit uh, an initiative that is similar to the Blue Dot initiative. The goal is to create, you know, allyship and uh, people that who are uh, struggling with their mental health. They have people to talk to. So I started that uh, that project and all the business case around it. People that have mental health disorders are reliable <laughs> and you know they can be good leaders they can be good employees that's just is more their, their workplace but I see you know it's the first time when you open up sometimes about mental health unfortunately where we are today people think that you know they can't rely on you or they don't know if it can give you additional responsibility they often think that they have the power or knowledge or authority to decide what you can do and that for me was a big, big struggle um, because I know what I have, you know, people know what they can do. So having other people's dictate, you know, um, how they can grow as a person just because they were courageous enough to open about their mental health disorders for me is a big issue. I think it's a collective effort. It's a community effort. And we have to show first to the people who want to talk about it that they're talking in a safe space. And that I think is one of the main barriers that uh, is right now, because talking will for sure accelerate the stigmatization of mental health. But for that, uh, a requirement is for them to feel safe. My goal is to still remain, you know, a, a good advocate for mental health in general, but especially in the workplace, as uh, I am uh, personally very touched uh, by that cause.